Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today we have your habitat hint and we're going to be talking about brush piles and how they can help your habitat. And I am again going to be joined by Jason Jensen with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Let me get this flipped around here and we'll talk all we can about brush piles. Thanks Jason for joining us today on Habitat Hints. Tell us about brush piles and how brush piles can be good for our habitat and some not so good. Hey, thanks Lucas and thanks everyone for tuning in, tuning in to another Habitat Hints. So we are gonna talk about brush piles today and brush piles are a great way to enhance the small game habitat on your property. You know, it provides you know, nesting cover for turkeys, uh, good cover for things like rabbits and quail and things like that. But there is a, a good and a bad um, when it comes to brush piles. The brush pile you see behind me today is one that was actually pushed up with a bulldozer. And that's an example of a brush pile that, that may not have the positive benefits that you're hoping from from a brush pile. Not to say that there might not be some use um, from rabbits and quail, but at the same time, I would almost guarantee that this brush pile is going to also serve as a den for things like raccoons, um, you know, and maybe other nest predators. And so this may actually end up being a population sink for the wildlife that you're hoping to enhance on the property. So my recommendation to this landowner would be to go ahead and burn this brush pile you know, when conditions are conducive for that. You know, maybe either in the winter time or in the summer time where they don't have to worry about the fire getting away. Um, and we will cover in a future episode of Habitat Hints much better practices as far as enhancement of that hard woody cover um, like brush piles and edge feathering and things like that. But this is just a great example of, you know, maybe the best of intention that didn't quite go as planned um, as far as enhancing the habitat on this property. I appreciate it, Jason. I know you said we're going to talk about it a little later, but just a little bit more. Looks like a bulldo bulldozer did this, but properly, how would it be if we did it normally? Like, would be a good for habitat. Right, and so if we were coming in here um, to enhance this habitat for, for wildlife, you know, another option may have been just felling those trees with a chainsaw and maybe just trying to fell, you know, two or three or four of those together to kind of make a very loose brush pile that rabbits and quail can, can move around in and get underneath. But at the same time, doesn't provide those, those great big stems and things like that that are gonna provide dens for, for things like raccoons um, and, and other nest predators. So very, very loosely compacted um, uh, brush piles as opposed to a, a very large, very compact brush pile like this. All right. Where can you learn more about, you know, proper way for brush piles and the importance of uh, uh, habitat? Where can you find out more information on mdc.mo.gov has an incredible uh, resources there, um, whether that's technical assistance and advice from a resource professional that can come out and help you on your property, or if you're just wanting information on, on brush piles themselves. You can just type in um, habitat in the search box and you're going to get all kinds of different results on things you can do to enhance the habitat on your property. All right. Thank you very much, Jason. Appreciate it.